this is going to be a uh, <clears throat> short video, and it's about uh, old Dumbo and his uh, presidential pardons. These people were uh, convicted of crimes, drug deals, some of them over a thousand pounds of some drugs. I mean, uh, and a lot of these crimes, you got to remember that they may have taken a plea bargain. They couldn't actually be charged with a murder, but they took a lesser charge just to uh, plea out, you know, to a lesser sentence. But uh, Odumbo, in his ultimate wisdom, <laughs> yeah, what a great leader he was, has pardoned 148 convicted felons, turned them loose back on the street. You know, he didn't care. They're not going to live next to him, but they may come after your children, your wife, you know, break into your home, kill your family. What does he care? He don't care. He's not from here. He's from Kenya. You know, he's not turning them loose to Kenya. He's turning loose on the streets of America. 148. My God, that power needs to be taken away from a president. These people were tried by 12. 12 members of their peers. How in God's name can a president pardon someone who's been convicted of a crime and charged? That power needs to be taken away from the president. You need to voice your opinion. You need to call your senators, congressmen, whoever, email them, call them, and tell them you're mad as hell and, and you're not going to take it anymore. Pardoning 148. He commuted the sentences of 1,176 felons. Commuted their sentence. 1,176. <laughs> And that's including 395 that was serving a life sentence. Well, do you know what kind of heinous crime you must commit to get a life sentence? What kind of vermin are you to get a life sentence? And that was given because of the crime. 395 he commuted. That means those people very shortly will be on the streets and maybe moving in next to you. Yeah, but if this doesn't just piss you off, what will? What's going to finally tip you over the scale? And I can understand the snowflakes and the cry bullies, these liberals, you know, educated by these, you know, these college professors that think they're God Almighty, and, and, and they're not. They're morons. You know, you teach because you can't do you know, if you can't do anything, you become a professor. You know, and these kids are like sponges. Whatever some of these morons spew out, they're like, wow, he's, he's a professor. It must be true. Yeah, you know, you snowflakes and you crowd bullies, you need to wise up. And, and all y'all wearing your little safety, your diaper pins, that's my safe space. And you're get your puppies to pet because it's it's such troubling times and your coloring book and your crayons and you get to uh, avoid final exams because you're so troubled by this election well wise up wise up you snowflakes when you go in the real world guess what somebody's gonna walk up and bust you right in the cocksucker when you start crying and sniveling it's a real world out there some places it's dog eat dog you better get used to it you're not going to be able to put your little diaper pin on your shirt and go, I'm in my safe space. You can't touch me. I, 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 can't, I can't be touched. Yeah, whatever. They're going to get you down. They're going to beat your ass is what they're going to do. In the real world, you're not going to survive. And this is what our country is going to. These snowflakes. You know, oh my God. Is this what's going to rule our country? That's why we've been going down the toilet since the bushes. You know, you know, you got Bush Senior, which was bad but wasn't terrible. Bush Junior was a piece of crap, and Jeb, oh my God, he's married to Savente Fox, the president of Mexico's niece. Okay, and you wonder why they're forcing open borders? It's because he's married into the damn Mexican cartel's family. Jeb Bush is a piece of shit. You know, 
he ran for president this year, didn't he? He didn't make it. He didn't even get nothing. It's because people are sick of the Bushes. They're sick of the Clintons, the Clinton Foundation, and all the pay-for-play money. You know, and all the flights on the Lolita Express to Pedophile Island that Bill and Hillary took to have sex with little children. And, and the Pizzagate. My God, people look up Pizzagate. You know, this ain't make-believe. This is real world. You're surrounded by sick, satanic, you know, uh, it's a satanic cult that took control of your government. They took control of everything. And now, hopefully, you know, uh, and, and God be with us, hopefully Trump will turn this around. You know, the country is ready for change. You know, we're sick of the status quo. We're sick of the corruption. We're sick of the lies, the deceit. And 1,176 sentences shortened by Odumbo? No, that needs to be reversed. If they got out, go ground them up and put them back. A jury of your peers put you in prison. You son of a bitch, you're going to do your damn time. And tell Odumbo, go back to Kenya. That's where they erected a statue of that piece of shit. Our resident, our, you know, our, our Kenyan-born leader of the United States. Yeah. And then you got his tranny wife getting on there going, All hope is lost. It, it's a world without hope now. It's, it's a world without hope for you because you can't buy $2,000 dresses and fly on a plane and go to any foreign country you want to with Secret Service personnel and your two adopted children. You know, you know, you know, people should be sick. They should be sick of what this country has turned into. And let's hope that God Trump turns it around, and I think it will. He's already brought jobs back. He's already been bringing things back. In the first hundred days, will show us what he can do. And he's a businessman. You know, he's not. He's taking seventeen dollars a year. As president, that's the lowest they could pay him. He, he wanted nothing. And Congress said, we can't pay you nothing. We have to pay you something. Well, $17 was the lowest they could pay him. So that's what they're paying him. He wouldn't take the money. He doesn't need it. It's like Ross Perot. When Ross Perot run, he was going to take that pitchfork to the barn and clean out the manure. Remember his, uh, his whole thing? You know, he would have been a good president. But they got to his family. They took pictures of his daughters and basically told him they was going to kill his family if he didn't drop out. You know, they was going to kill his family if he didn't drop out of the race because he was so popular. He wasn't part of the status quo. Well, you know, you got Putin out there. Putin's not our enemy. Putin is a very smart individual. What do you do, 35 years in the KGB? Oh, my God. What kind of... Einstein is this guy to have done 35 years in the KGB. His country, his people love him. You know, he's not our enemy. Russia's not our enemy. His people's not our enemy. They're creating this boogeyman to try to fool you people and try to dissuade you into thinking, oh, the election was rigged. They hacked it. No, they didn't hack it. Your own damn government people leaked information because they're sick of you. They're as sick of you as we are. Your CIA, your FBI, they leaked this information. And Comey, he needs to go. He needs to go. Loretta Lynch, how the God's name did she get that job? Because she was a lackey. She was a bootlicker. Loretta Lynch was a bootlicker. That's how she got that job. She leaked Clinton's boots. Oh, God. I'll do some more videos later on. Let me get these posted. Like and share to all your friends and let them, uh, you know, comment. Because there's a lot of people out there that's sick and tired of this government. Talk to you later.